Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Queen Yu. For those who don't know me, reviewing young, famous, and African. Hey, guys, if ever I move to South Africa, it is my life goal to make it on this show. Mm! To no money, to no status like this. Oh, yes. Whew. Okay, this is season two, episode one. If you haven't seen season one, you can watch my recap if you want to. Honestly, you don't have to because they explain a lot of what happened in season one in this first episode. So before I get into it, please make sure to like this video, subscribe and hit the bell and leave a comment down below. Let's get into it. So basically, all the OGs have returned. Everybody that we know and love from season one is back for season two. What's his name? Diamond is hosting a party to get everybody reunited. But we have some new people. We have Fantana and we have Wanang Mateba. I was born in America and I moved back to Ghana after school. I used to have a quick temper, but I'm working on it. A lot of people would say I am materialistic, but I'm not. I just like nice things. So I'm a TV presenter, a radio broadcaster, just turned businesswoman. I'm very selfish, very self-centered. Most people could call me very bossy, very mean, quite intimidating. Listen, this is how you know Wananga is going to be the moment. Netflix said introducing Lewis, who we'll see in episode two, introducing Fantana, and then starring Wanang Mateba. I said, wow, even a starring. Do the originals get a starring? Shem. The first of the group to reunite is Kanye, who actually lives full time in Dubai now with her then boyfriend and naked. What's good? You left him in Dubai I again. Left him in Dubai. Oh, nice I think from the snaps, I can see that you guys are great. I can see you taking good Dude, care of him. Dude, even your snaps are looking her. dope with Kaylee. I'm taking her down good. You gotta do that. You know, Hold your flower. That's that. Yes. That's, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Naked is being naked. Again, just pissing me off. Like the man, oh, oh, I cannot, I cannot stand this man. I cannot stand this. I would rather have six diamonds. I, I real diamonds, but I meant diamond on the show, than one naked. I just, I cannot stand him. And then Kanye is talking about, you know, her and Kudzai are, are doing well, but listen, I saw on the internet that it ain't going great. And apparently they've split. So I wonder if that was the last time we're going to hear of Kudzai because I, I, I think it's over. Then next to reunite is Zari and Swanky, which is an interesting one because well, first of all, Zara had to let us know she had money, okay? She's like, yeah, I rented out the whole sentence just for me and Swanky. <laughs> but we left off with them actually having a beef. So now that they are coming together as, as besties, I'm like, oh, interesting. He is a diva. Swanky loves being fashionably late. I'm the fashion god. I must make an entrance. I mean, you seen anyone look better than this guy sitting here? Exactly no. So, mm. Me and you. Cheers, girl. To this friendship. Cheers, yes. I love you all. I love you. Mm. Swanky invited me and a couple of friends to Nigeria. There was no honey anywhere. That really left me wondering, what could be the problem? I'm not going to lie to you. I feel like Swanky was edited the first season as if he was a sidekick. And so this season, he's trying to make a name for himself. He's trying to present as the main event, as the main character. I don't know how successful that's going to be because basically so far in the episodes that I've seen, he's still tied to Annie's storyline. So yeah, I don't know how, how successful he will be, but that's really his attempt. And even this whole, I'm showing up late, I'm making an entrance, I'm doing all of this. I said, Swanky, if you're the moment, just be the moment. You see Zari? Zari is just the moment. Wanang is just the moment, okay? Don't, don't force it. Next, we have Annie who reunites with Kanye. And that one's an interesting one too, because start of season one, they were enemies, ended season one as besties. And here we are seeing them again as besties. No, is that love weight? Is she pregnant? What is going on there? A lot of people perceived me and him, our marriage, as if, as if I was suffering in the marriage. You know, because Innocent is doing the best. He's a good man, he's a good father, most importantly, you know. And he had 
all these kids before we married. Essentially, Annie is saying, you know, the world needs to stop looking at me as a suffering wife because I'm living a great life with two baba. Those kids came before our marriage and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, yeah, they might have come before you guys were married, but you guys were together. Were you not? So he still cheated on you, babes. Like, what? <laughs> make it make sense. Before or after marriage, the fact is he cheated. And then the storyline this season is that he cheated again. Oh, God forbid, man. God forbid. And he's going to have a tough season. Nadia meets up with Andile and he is annoyed that this party is happening and his invite came via naked instead of diamond. The only solace in this is Quentin says he's been in charge with inviting everyone. Did he give you his blessing then? I don't need his blessing. What so do you mean his blessing? Of course, of course. I mean I like... I want to ask for his blessing. Not his blessing, but just like... I, I faced him right then and there and I told okay him. Is it okay with you having feelings with Zari? That's my question. Exactly. First of all, relax. Okay, relax. Everybody gonna invite by naked. I guess... Well, okay, okay. Well, 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 well. Everybody got the invite by naked, but that was sanctioned by Diamond. So... Andela's invite was not sanctioned, but it was all by way of Naked. So, like, relax. And also, why do you expect Naked, I mean, Diamond, to extend an invitation to you when you violated y'all's friendship in season one? Andela, no, man, please have some sense. Oh, this part broke me. This part broke me. So, Nadia is catching Andela up on her new relationship with AKA. Why do I feel like a South African accent is coming out of me? <laughs> the way I said relationship. Um, a new relationship coming. Uh, oh, gosh. Her new relationship with AKA, right? But as we know, AKA, uh, unfortunately, has recently passed. You're going to see the whole enchilada of the people. I could say the same for you. What do you mean? I have no drama. I'm with Keenan Jared Forbes, also known as AKM. He's such a manly man, and he loves me so nicely. He comes with the most popular relationship he's been in, mm. as far as media is concerned, Bonang. This one, you know, I, honestly, if things didn't pan out the way that they did, I can see what the producers were trying to do. Is my thing even recording? Oh, it is. Okay. <laughs> I can see what the producers were trying to do because this season of Bonang is on the show. Bonang is one of AKA's exes. Bonang and Nadia were also friends. So they were friends before the AKA situation, but they had a falling out. And then after, no, this South African accent is really hitting me. What is happening? And then after that, Nadia got with AKA and then now they want to bring Bonang on the show. They're trying to start something, but it backfired because now AKA is not with us anymore. Yo, mm. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. this, ah, I could see what y'all were doing, but damn, that was unfortunate timing. So of course, like I said, um, naked is an instigator, right? And so he's talking to diamond about who he's invited. And then he's also now pitching a new love interest for diamond. I know you like to hunt. Have you ever done hunting in Ghana? Ghana? Yeah. Fantana is a friend of mine I met through social media. She's an artist from Ghana. You don't have a problem with anybody? I didn't call Andy. Hey, clearly there's still an issue, but it's late now because I've already invited Andy. My bad. I just, I just, I just cannot. I just can't. I cannot stand this man. I, every, everything about Naked just irks me. And unfortunately, that residual irkness goes on to Kaylee because then she irks me to the fact that she's even with him. Why are you with him, Kaylee? Go find something else, please. Ah, and it looks like they're going to get engaged this season. Oh, man. Mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I don't like this man. So anyways, everybody's arriving to the party. And of course, old love triangles, old friendship beefs. They're going to be reignited because these people allegedly haven't seen each other in a year. Let me say they haven't been all in the same room in a year. You didn't invite Andile. Hey, mm. <laughs> I don't know. The last time I checked, you were hitting on Nadia. I need to make it clear that I have no issues with Zari. Not anymore. Unless she starts shit. Oh, someone is dating a new man. Yeah, you too. This Zari diamond, th like, mm. do y'all want to be together, yes or no? Because if you don't, then, then leave it alone. Like, just leave it alone. 
let's let it go i just i don't understand the it, uh, the tension is just so weird but anyways we have more people arriving swanky arrives and he makes it abundantly clear that him and annie no longer friends you can, why don't you just sit there annie she wants me to go to interview <laughs> still late well, i'm learning i'm trying. Ah. Don't go there. Don't. Don't go. No, don't go there. Hi, one second, that was extremely childish. It was low of him. It was dirty. I'm not going to lie to you. My heart actually dropped. My well, <laughs> You're going to go to everyone in the room and then swerve Annie like that? My heart went into my booty hole. I, I just... <laughs> Yo, that's bold. That's because even if there was a point of redemption, if I was Annie or Swanky, whatever, that would have been the moment that I said, oh, that's it. We're done. So Annie's offended and she's like, this is this is so childish. Like, you have to say hi to me or whatever. But my thing is, if it really bothered you, why didn't you just say hi to him? You know, like it. Of course, they're both high with their ego right now and probably emotions too so they don't want to be the first person to concede but i'm like if you were that offended just say hi back that's one thing i hated being an african this thing of like you must say hi to certain people whether or not they offend you whether or not whatever simply for the fact that they are older than you i'm like no if the hi was that important to them they should have come to me and said hello because i and sometimes I didn't see you. Now, Swanky did see Annie. We know that for sure. But like, if it meant that much to you, you say it to me then. Damn. I also have to make a, a, a comment about um, Nadia. Nadia, please. Tulum Sindu. Hi. <laughs> Stop with the noise. Be quiet. This woman, I feel like she has so much potential in terms of the show. And maybe she's trying to be like a Kanye or a Bonang, you know, the it girl. But she's too inner, as the Caribbean say. She's too inner. As the Zimbabweans say, Utandizindo. she likes things. You, you, you just want to be in everybody's business, but it's so blatant the way that she does it. You know, it, it's not subtle by any means at all. And I'm like, no, man, the, this is going to make people not want to associate with you because why are you instigating things? Obviously, you can see that there's a tension there. Take somebody aside and ask them the question. Why are you asking in front of everybody causing problems? I'm glad that um, Kanye had to pull Nadia aside. And Nadia's like, oh, what's going on? And she's like, no, your mouth is slick. We have to keep you away from people so that you don't start trouble. Because no, man. Why are we policing you, Nadia? You're too big for this. When Naked arrives, he comes with Andile. And of course, the tension in the room just gets thicker and thicker. There's already a divide. So Naked's like, let's bring everybody together. It didn't go well. This is awkward as hell. No, don't bring it this way. Are you good? good? I'm good. Fine. You're good? Welcome. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you yeah. for having me. Welcome, my brother. Hello. Hey, Amy. How are you? It is too tight. Very Hi. weird. Thank you. That's very weird. Truth be told, I actually fell for Andy Lee. He's, he's got the thing. So here's the thing when it comes to this Zari Andy Lee diamond thing. I think what they were doing was actually disrespectful, mainly because it hasn't been explicitly addressed. So why are you hugging up on Zari like this, this lingering hug in, in front of Diamond, still having not addressed allegedly? For the show purposes, they haven't addressed the issue, right? But then I'm also like, Zari is no longer with Diamond, so it's her prerogative to engage with anybody how she wants to. And then I'm also like, no, but Andile was Diamond's friend. And even though you're able to date whoever you want to date, it's the courtesy, you know? It's the courtesy. Yeah, there's a lot going on in this story, man. I'm, I'm going to have to unpack it because I don't know how to feel. So all the while, while people are coming in, Nadia's asking questions. She's poking this bear. She's poking that bear. But when Bonang enters the room, where's Nadia? Nowhere to be found. I am quite a big personality, but a lot of people are going to feel surprised, probably shocked. Swanky, you cannot bring your friend's boyfriend's ex to a party without telling your friend that that's what you're going to do. Kanye's disappeared. Nadia's disappeared. And I don't know what to make of it. Mm. So you can dish it, but you can't take it. 
where are you, Nadia? Where are you? And and, and don't say this. Oh, can you put me aside? And then we, we just happen to leave at the same moment. Please, please, please. Oh, to be Vonang, all you have to do is walk in a room and people scatter. <laughs> hey, yo, I want that kind of power. I do. Well, actually, I don't know. Maybe Vonang is problematic, but... So far, I'm very intrigued by her. And I'm also very annoyed by Naked. I know you guys know I'm annoyed by him, but I'm annoyed. This one, he's going to sit here and say, I don't know why Nadia would be feeling a way about when I'm being here. And in the same breath, say he's known Wanang for 10 years. So obviously he knows the drama. You see this man? <sighs> and then he makes things worse. So he has invited... Fan, fan, fan ten. Oh, I don't know how to pronounce her name, but he's invited her. She gives me hope, okay? Because she was born in America, lives in Africa, and now she's on the show, okay? There's hope for me yet. So he invited her, unbeknownst to Kaylee. So welcome. You're gonna meet a couple of my friends. Okay. Fan ten, I think. How are you? I'm good. Nice I'm to meet you. Fan ten, nice, nice to meet you. you. Ooh, you see, look, he's hot. I mean, that's so disrespectful. He would not be okay if I had to do the same thing to him. Yeah, Kaylee, your man is slimy. Welcome to the party. I'm glad you've finally understood what, what what's happening here, okay? And it's no surprise, too, that uh, Diamond is taking an interest in Fenton. He's an appreciate He appreciates a beautiful woman. Fenton is one of them. I've been saying Fenton, and her name is Fantana. Anyways. Yeah, that's how, okay, like Santana, but with an F. Fantana or Fanta. Nah. <laughs> Anyways, the episode ends with Andile kind of feeling uncomfortable. And he's like, you know what? I'm going to leave. But before he does, of course, Diamond has to throw some shots his way. I've partied in clubs where I'm the only black person there. And it was not as awkward as what this was. I love the way how you're playing your cards, Mr. Thank you. So you, you're my role model. Bless us. You're welcome. Is Andile your, your boyfriend? Oh yeah. no! Oh, no! Wait. Wait. Oh, no! Already, we're seeing that Fantana is 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 Nadia times two, and because she's new to the group, she's probably gonna feel no way stepping on toes because she doesn't have loyalty to anybody, like no one at all. So that's gonna be an issue. But also, can we talk about the curveball that Zari threw us? She said she was actually falling for Andila when he was pursuing her. Well, sweetie, if that's the case why were you acting this hard to get whatever whatever but now she's hurt that Andila has stopped the pursuit you should have told him that you had feelings maybe we could have been somewhere you know maybe then Diamond would really have an excuse to be upset because you guys turned into an actual relationship but you guys were nothing y'all want to play childish games to get childish prizes you you have nothing now no relationship now just awkward vibes that's what you wanted so here we are Anyways, that's episode one. You guys let me know how you feel down below. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.